Okay, I think the thing is recording. Hi everyone, my name is Kalexial. Though, those of you watching will more than most likely remember me and know me as Apollo 12 31. <clears throat> Welcome to episode 6. So, let's jump right into it. Last time we left off, and it's the same day, by the way, because I was too lazy to record yesterday. Um, <clears throat> there was a terror mission in Africa. So, let's actually go back to the base. Equipped craft. I need to check up on who all I'm actually bringing. So, we're bringing Lexi, Pull, various soldiers, Valerian, another soldier, and then more soldiers. So, equipment-wise, we're bringing eight lasers and six plasmas, with six clips for those plasmas. Help to self-produce more plasma clips. Uh, we're bringing prox grenades, high explosives, med kits, stun rods, and some electro flares in the event it's nighttime. Everyone's got personal armor. So let's, uh, let's get this costume party started, why don't we? So the Sky Ranger's going. To Terror Site 3, guys. So, hopefully it's day when we get there, but uh, I don't think it will be day. Um, okay, it's day. About day. So let me actually take a note of who all is at the front of the damn ship. So I don't fuck up my thing like last time. So Lexi is at the front with Pole at her side. I fucked up. Uh maybe not. Who's got who's got uh who's got who who's holding Oh really? Really? You give the plasma to the whatever. Whatever. Uh, is it night? It is night, and no one's got freaking things. Okay. Lexi. Hot stuff. Put that in your belt. Prime it. And then... Throw it. I fucked up. I hit okay on accident. And then actually pick up a thing. Pull, you do the same actually. Uh, actually, Pull, you see something. Where do you? Where is it? What is it? What do you see, Pull? You see a thing over here. Oh, that could be a chrysalid. Uh. What am I? What am I shooting at? Okay, um... Go to belt. Prime it, and then throw it, dude. Oh my god, unable to be thrown. Okay, you... This needs to be thrown at 13. Alright, seriously, man, what, what the hell do you see? I would just throw the grenade. Oh well. I swear to God, this is the chrysalids. I swear to God, this is chrysalids. Okay, floaters. floaters and okay nothing uh Paul seriously what the fuck do you see man okay Alexi, hot stuff, hun? Huh? 
I was about to say... I was actually about to say, if that had killed Lexi Bell... Mm <clears throat> I would go forward in time and have Val let Valen have a field day with this thing. Kill. Lexi, you're the luckiest bitch in the world! Okay! This is getting nerve-wracking! Okay, that last one almost gave me a heart attack, I'm not gonna lie. Alrighty then, pull. I'll get like one of the fodder over there. Ooh. Pull, I think he might become a captain or something. Automatic fire his ass. Nice shot, pull. Okay, you're on Overwatch. Next! Soldier 26. You are a meat shield, so I don't feel sorry if I lose you. So I actually want you to go and tell me... Oh, you're snap shooting, that's right. Okay, and then Soldier 25, who's a squatty. Also disembark. So that's what Paul was seeing. Okay, uh, Paul, do you think you can actually hit that? No line of fire. Shit. What about you? Nice shooting, 26. Alright, the rest of you get into position. Jesus Christ, what the fuck do you see?! Fuck it. Spray and pray. There we go. There we fucking go. Okay. Twenty-five! You're shaping up to become one of my favorites as well. Okay, twenty-seven, I want you to move up. Neil. Spray and pray guy. Also Neil. Never mind, you're reserving that shit for snapshots. That's Valerian, who's a captain. We have some fodder. Matter of a fact... Valerian, congratulations, you just got upgraded. Uh, no, I want this guy, actually. Oh, fuck a duck! Uh, okay. Um. Pull! You still got shots left. Miss. Pull, I'll say it now and I'll say it again. Luckiest son of a bitch alive. You can still shoot though. You pick up the pick up the thingy. Twenty-seven. 28% chance to hit. Swear to God if you shoot Lexi. Come on, one shot, one shot. God damn it, 27! 
Jay can't hit a thing. You did your whole thing. Well. 28. Disembark. And then 30. Get over here. Neil. Automatic fire. You got. Okay, that that just relieved a whole lot of stress right there. Okay, so yeah, I think there might be crystals on this mission because they're floaters. Like crystals and floaters do show up occasionally, uh, quite a bit actually. <sighs> no casualties, though. That's always a plus. So, 25. I want you snap shooting because this is a terror mission, so... So, it's just a Reaper... Kill it. Um, twenty seven. Move out of the smoke. So we're in the corner. We're not quite in the corner. Soldier 30. Move to the edge of the smoke. Okay, who are you? You're also uh, meat shield. So Soldier 26. There's a civilian in front of that, but this is XCOM. Aim shot, shoot the thing. Twenty-six, you get a fucking promotion. Because F does not stand for father, it stands for fucking amazing. Because that's what that was. Okay, I'm keeping Lexi and Pole here. Until I unload everyone else. Twenty-eight, unload. Uh, make your way to the front wheel of the ship. Okay. Jay, you're going to be the last one to unload, and then the last few of the plasmas get unloaded next. Jay, I want you near this wall. Last six, get into position. The reason why I gave Jay the plasma rifle is because the weapon's more accurate and he has shit accuracy. And a little bit of favoritism because he soldier 10, damn it, and he took three shots to the gut from a Reaper point blank. When in reality, Reapers are melee things to begin with. Cannot wait to upgrade this damn thing. And then the two up front just kneel. Pack up. 
passing turn. Just a human. 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 Man. And <sighs> so that's that with I need you snap shooting soldier. Nice find. Uh Valerian, I actually want to see if you can hit this shot to be to be honest. 51% chance to hit. You have no line of fire, never mind. Oh, nice shot. I don't think that's all of them, though. I know for a fact that that's not all of them, so... Soldier 26. Uh, move up. Pole, I want you to move up to the front wheel and give cover to the uh, other soldiers. 28, move up to the lamppost. Beautiful, who do you see? What do you see? You see a floater up there. Well, actually, Valerian could probably hit that shot, to be honest, because he's got line of sight, probably. So I'm going to have the guy with the plasma take a shot. Boom. Nice shot, Valerian. Oh, if only your accuracy would go up, I can make you a heavy sniper, and then you'd really be worth it. So, Soldier 27, continue moving. I swear to God, if that's it. I swear to God, if that's all of the aliens. This is, this is the easiest terror mission I've ever played. No casualties, nothing but floaters and reapers. I swear to god, guys, I did hit superhuman. Maybe I've got that glitch where it's like superhuman, but it's actually on beginner difficulty or some shit like that. Holy shit. That was... Th what the fuck? What the actual fuck? Uh, uh, okay. Nine aliens killed. Nine corpses recovered. Eighteen artifacts recovered. Only two civilians killed. The rest saved. What the fuck? I think the game's trying to psych me out. So Lexi's a colonel. Pulls a captain. Two new sergeants. And sergeant! And seer genitalia is the commander, everybody! That's going to be a nickname when we get to the later XCOMs. That's going to be a nickname. I'm not going to actually name one of my soldiers. Actually, I probably might. Oh my god, though. Oh my god. So, let's, um... No, not that. I want to sell sack. Oh my god, we got two new sergeants. A new commander, who's never going to go on any missions whatsoever. Plasma pistols can be sold. Um, floater corpses, don't care. Shouldn't I have gotten a new Reaper corpse? Whatever, let's manufacture some plasma rifle clips. Oh, that requires Illyrium, and I have no Illyrium whatsoever. Okay. 
So I guess we're gonna go and equip craft and uh, go to equipment. Oh, thank God, I actually refilled my thing. So hopefully, as long as aliens have plasma rifles and shit. How's research going? So the small launcher should be done in 10 years. I don't like this. I had no casualties on that mission. Everything went fucking amazing. We got heavy- we got laser cannons now, guys. Allocating research. So now what do we want to research, actually? Uh, let's get UFO navigation started. Why not? Allocate manufacturing. New production. Laser cannon. Start off with six of those. Well, actually, basis. We got a million dollars. It costs. Yeah, six will do. <laughs> okay. Interceptor. You know what to do. Tracking is lost. It's a large ship. Redirecting craft. I know where it was going. It's heading into Africa, so... Um, we might be prepping for an alien base assault, guys. Yeah, we might be prepping for an alien assault. I mean, an a yeah, base assault. Like, on one of their bases. Actually, let's check, uh... Kinda spiked. None here. None here. Uh, South America's good. Europe is spiked, but lowered. North Africa is really spiked, but lowered. Nothing, nothing, nothing of note, 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 nothing of note. Yeah, so it's spiked. It looks like they're uh, hiding now. Let's go into the bases. Um, no, I don't want to purchase anyone's. Let's do this. Laser cannons. You can sell them for more than you've made them. So then manufacturing, new production. You guys can kind of see what I'm going to be doing right here. So we got a million, so let's bump this up to eight. Actually, let's see if I can sell anything else. See if I can really just cover the cost of this. Uh, okay, let's sell a prox grenade, some high explosives. I'm gonna keep those stun rods. I'm gonna sell an alien grenade just because. And then I might just end up selling a heavy plasma. Just so we have that extra buffer. Actually, how's research going on the, uh, navigation is probably going to be poor. But that was the easiest fucking Terra mission ever. Like, ever. Everything went too right. So, my prediction... Ah, oh, sweet. Laser cannons are done. Okay, so sack... Laser rifles. Where are the laser cannons? Laser cannons, laser cannons. Come on, I need to sell these laser cannons. So 
See, we're making money, guys. We are now making money. Giving the entirety of everybody laser cannons. Ah, oh, we don't have enough space. Let's bump this up to 10. I don't think I'll have uh, enough cash to completely fill out the order. Matter of fact, manufacture. Bump that back down to eight. Laser cannons are done. Selling the laser cannons again. For double the profit. Now I can produce 10 of them, which will get me 2 million. Production. Note to self, build a new workshop. Research complete. So the small launcher is done. A small launcher which fires stun bombs, very useful for capturing live aliens. You'll need to research the stun bomb. Allocating research. I want to get. I want to get the UFO going. So I'm bumping that up to 55. And then the stun bomb, I'm going to put five scientists on it just to look at it. Laser cannons are done. Selling the laser cannons. So we get two million out of this. See now we're now we're starting to get more cash. So again, forty four guys. And then sell eleven. See, this is very profitable right here. It's kind of broken when you think about it, but uh, it's very profitable, I think. And plus, now every country I sell this shit to, they have laser cannons of their own. Laser cannons are done. Okay, let's keep this up. Okay, let's bump this up to 12. Let me equip to craft real quick, actually. So let's uh, equip this entire crew. So, who will be guiding them out? So, I actually want... So, Badavus and Dark. You two will be leading the um, squaddies out. The new uh, rookies out. They'll be assisted by these guys. Oh, that's right, Soldier 27 became a sergeant, and along with him, 30, you, and then you two, uh, along with Venator, three sergeants. Ah. 
So yeah, I, I'm baffled at how easy that Terra mission was. Baffled, I say. Research complete. So this is the UFO navigation. So alien craft use sophisticated computers to navigate on Earth and through space. The system is based on optical processors arranged in the network fashion. The control interface is relatively simple. The navigator controls the direction of gravity waves generated by the power source to move the craft in any direction. The system can be easily used by humans and it can be reproduced using alien alloys and other components. Allocating research. New project. Uh, let's hit up that UFO power source. And Jesus Christ, I need to find Illyrium. Okay, not gonna touch that yet because I don't have any. So it's moving 420 small intercept, interceptor. Go fuck it up. Okay, go to last known UFO position. Center on. Interceptor 1, select new target. Come on, bro, you can get it. Yes! Aggressive to actually standard attack. Alright, guys, we got a mission! So I'll see you guys in the next episode tomorrow. Uh, because you guys know my system here. <clears throat> so, first and foremost, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching. Uh, please do remember to comment down below what you want soldiers named, or if you want one named after you. Sorry if I took the liberty of naming people after you already. I kind of wanted to hurry up and name some people, and you were there. But, as I've said many times before, guys, we're fucked. I'll see you guys next time. Six.